Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna film my entire day with these two cameras, the GoPro 10 and the Insta360 X3. We're gonna know which camera serves me better. Is it the GoPro or is it the new X3? Okay, let's go to bed and find out. 7.30 a.m. straight into my All breath different. work session. Little Wim Hof, about 35 minutes of solid breath work. It's great. Shower time. Cold shower to be exact. I'm taking a cold shower, you pervs. Coffee time. Look out the window. Wow. Get on the computer, some emails, some business, a little egg. It is time to go outside and record a Jozanke snow report. Before the snow report, let's take a look at this new magazine, Snowboarder's Lifestyle Free Run. Here we go, Hokkaido Powder Belt. Look at that. Uh, Shinya, Yama, and Hayato, three of my favorite riders from the Kardashi days, and we spent about a week traveling all around central Hokkaido. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. So good. Winter is here. Good morning, everybody. The moment you've been waiting for the first real Jolzanke snow report of the season, it is minus six degrees. And look at this. The entire scene has turned into a winter wonderland. Head over to the office, change the calendar. It is December 1st. Time to make some ham and cheese bagels so we can serve them at the cafe. A lot of ham and cheese bagels, actually. Okay, put all that stuff in the car. Later today, I am going to set up my snowboard Genten stick chaser with my Solomon bindings because tomorrow the resort, Sapporo Kokusai, is opening for the 2023 season. Forgot to change my wipers to the winter ones. Winter wipers. It just broke. It's okay. I was just putting it on backwards. There we go. Psycho lover. Okay, it's 11 a.m. I did a lot of preparation for the cafe. The resort is opening tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna head up to the ski hill now, make a delivery to our mountaintop cafe, and get ready for the opening of the 2023 winter ski season. Psycho lover. I have decided to delay my departure by about 30 minutes so that I can get a screwdriver and set up my snowboard right now because I'm worried that I might not be able to do it later in the day. Welcome to my snowboard shed. Found a screwdriver and set up my board. I love setting up my board for the first day of the season. It's the best. Okay, we are ready. Oh, okay. Let's make sure those wipers work. Awesome. Looking pretty deep. Ooh. Arrival at the resort and I'm actually shocked by how much snow there is. Literally yesterday, there was no snow and now we have at least a meter. at the top of the mountain. I'm gonna spend about an hour and a half prepping for tomorrow's opening. At 10 a.m. we have to have the cafe up and running, hot coffee and food ready to serve to those who come to ski on the first day of the season! Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like we're gonna start off the season with a little bit of shoveling. Yeah, a good shoveling session on the stairs there to get into the cafe. <laughs> wow, there is a lot of snow. Now, cart all that stuff over. Now, unpack everything, put it in the freezer, put it in the fridge, organize, reorganize, clean up, get ready. 
Here we go. Coffee beans in the coffee machine. Get those chairs down. All right, looking good. Take a break. Let's sit down for a moment and have a little heart to heart chat. I've been coming to this resort to snowboard for at least 30 years. And when they built this mountaintop cafe, I think I came in maybe once or twice and then I never visited again. The coffee was bad, the music was bad, the vibes were bad. There was no reason to want to come in here and have a coffee, relax, look at the view in between taking snowboard runs. Then about four years ago, I came up here and I thought, what if we ran the mountaintop cafe? What if we took over and what if we made the coffee and we played the music and you know, we, we created a place that was the right vibe, a place that you'd want to go and hang out, take a break between some runs, enjoy a really nice coffee or a sandwich, and continue on with your day. That's what mountaintop cafes should be. And that's what they've always been to me. When I went to Europe, when I went to Alaska, when I went to America, and I went to resorts, the vibes would always be great. You would meet people who love the mountains. There would be all these characters. There'd be some great food, there'd be some good music, and I wanted to make that here. I wanted to create my version of that here at the top of the mountain. That was it. I never had a plan, and I still don't want to be a cafe propeteer. I don't want to be the one serving the coffee. I just wanted to create a scene. I wanted to create a place where like-minded people could gather and reaffirm their love of skiing and snowboarding and mountains and nature and all of that good stuff. So that's why we run this place. I have to finish writing up uh, our menu. Okay, uh, time to go back down and uh, do some more preparations. We're gonna switch over to the Insta360 X3 right now. Boom, here we go. We are on the Insta360 now. Spend the rest of the afternoon and the evening filming with this. You let me know which camera you like better, which you think captures the vibe better. Okay, we have made it back home. It is still snowing here. It's about 3.30 p.m. And I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I think. <sighs> We're back home. I like my new shirt and my new hat. This is the bullet time effect on the new Insta360 X3. I love it. This is such a cool effect from a 360 camera. Oh man, it's getting dark. It gets so dark so early now. All right, we're going to jump out and uh, head to the supermarket, pick up a couple items, and uh, then we'll get back. And uh, wow, yeah, the day goes by really fast here. Welcome to our local supermarket. Got the shopping basket. And here we go, getting some milk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chocolate bars. Cart full of stuff. That's my shopping trip for the evening. Back in the car. Time to head home. But I feel like I need a little energy boost. Decided to swing into Starbucks drive through Well, look at this folks. It is still snowing heavily here back at the house. Uh, I'm gonna go into the office and we are going to make some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <sighs> wow, what a day. Been uh, working pretty hard here. I feel thankful my neighbor actually just came by and dropped off a dinner. Delivered to my door. Thank you so much. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Super good. And well, that's it folks. Uh, finished editing the video. I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. 
Now I gotta go get all my snowboard gear ready. Tomorrow is opening day at our local resort, Sapporo Koksa. I am so excited. And the S-Log Snowcraft Japan season is truly about to begin. Let's do this together. <laughs>